So hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be uh, putting on a Safari Armax snorkel on my 79 series. Going to remove the standard uh, air intake and get the new one on. So I'll just sort of speed through the uh, the removal of the old one, and uh, you know we'll we'll get into it. Just going to start by taking these four bolts out. One, two, three, four and uh, they're just a 12 mil gee they weren't very tight at all when uh, when that was put on very loose rightio there's just some sort of clip down the back just slide it back wow look at that that is crappy yeah, that's not going to do much at all. Wow, that is uh, that is rubbish. Okay, so we've got that off. Uh, we'll just take all this stuff off. And then we'll, uh, we'll get into the instructions, see what we've got to do. There's definitely a size difference there. So when I got it, uh, I got a template. There's the, uh, the ram head, a few fittings, uh, that's for the air box. I just bought some masking tape just to go under the template when I'm doing it. And some uh, Sikaflex 221 just to uh, glue up around here onto the air box when we do that. Got the old one off, got to drill a couple of holes I think. We'll just follow the instructions. We'll just make sure that that's okay and in the right place before we uh, we do any drilling and cutting. That's better. Gotta have that there. Exactly right. And all that, that's good. And over here, meets up with the door. Okay, so we've got the hole cut, finally. Uh, bit of a mission. But anyway, we'll just go around and smooth all that off and put some, uh, put some primer on that so it doesn't rust. Give that a vacuum in there. And then we can move on to the next step. So that's all right. So I've just got my Dremel sort of tool thingy here, Rockwell. Just got a, uh, a grinding bit on there, and we're just going to clean up this this edge around here so it's nice and smooth. So these holes here have to be 16. 16 mil. There's a there's a couple of them. There's a few. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm not going to do that one. I don't think I need to worry about that because you've still got the factory, the factory hole that's just there, plus up top. So, I think I'm going to be happy with that. That's definitely going to be solid. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. So I'm going to drill those. One, two, three, four, five. And uh, we'll give that a try. So I'm just getting the snorkel ready here, just following the instructions. Uh, I've got a rubber grommet here to put in here. It says the thick side facing inwards against the, against the panel. We'll get that in there. 
and then we've got these uh, these stainless steel mounting studs to go in now because I didn't do this one I didn't drill that one on the, the panel I'm gonna leave that out just for the moment we'll just see how this lines up we'll put all these in here this is just a dry run we'll get that in there in a minute put that one in there two there that one there so you know if you got really small arms and hands I suppose you could put that one in you're pretty nimble but uh, I'm just gonna leave it off for the moment I may put it in later we'll, we'll see but uh, you know we've got a lot of fixing points here there and then two up there so I don't think it's gonna be too bad just got to take a bit more out of here seems to be the only thing stopping me this little bit here and then I'll be able to slide it forward Yeah, so last thing for today, I've just put a bit of primer, a bit of kill rust on that bare metal, uh, just to stop any corrosion. But uh, that'll be it for today. We'll let that dry. I've just taped it off, so you'll hardly see that when I take it off in the morning. I've also sprayed from the inside out, so uh, get a nice, nice thick coat there. And I can see why these holes have got to be a 16 mil now, because you've got to sort of put it in and slide it up. So uh, you need just a little bit of play. But that should come up nice. So we'll finish that off tomorrow. So good morning everyone. Um, back to it. So we've let the, uh, let the paint dry there. So we can just go ahead and take all this off. I've just taken the top of the air box off. Just be a bit easier to get access down here. There's a couple of bolts there, there, another one down there, and then we can uh, have a go at getting that snorkel in. This last one is upside down. There's probably a knack to it. Might need a really small ratchet, I think. Ugh. What a shit spot. If you've got small arms and small hands, you can get down to this. Got to persevere with it. Careful that nut doesn't drop down. And then, voila. We're out. There's a hole there that I can get to these two. There we go. So that's okay. And then I've got to try and reach around down here to get these three. So, if I can move this plastic thing here, I might just be able to squeeze my arm through there. Anyway, we'll have a go. So, we're up to uh, putting these stainless steel studs into the snorkel. And uh, according to the instructions, a bit of Loctite, 
two, four, three. Just put a little bit on and then we'll screw those in. I've just got a screwdriver down here and undone that little clip there just down in there and I'm just lifting that up a whisker now because I've got little arms I can get my arm around in there to do up that bolt just enough room I hope you can see that okay yeah it's a tight fit uh, that's the that one there and that one there so that's good I can get to those that was a nasty job and I can see why everybody skips through that when they're putting up these videos. I was able to get my hand up under here, up in there, and down in there. Uh, now we just got to put that, that clip back in there. Come here. That's it, it's in. Well, but anyway, we've got it done. Got a nice fit around there. Uh, that's what I was worried about. It just took a little bit of uh, finessing. But I uh, got the top on, got the bracket on. That might do, I think. There we go. And that's that's solid. No rattles there at all. Yeah, so was okay. I left that last top bolt off, but because there's one here, one here, one there, look at that. The whole car's moving. It doesn't make any difference, so I'm happy with that. But each to their own. Anyway, now I'll uh, keep going with the airbox. I'm going to start with the airbox now. Just got to cut around here. Take this this inlet pipe off. Uh, the instructions say to keep this bit here. So I'm going to use this, this is my tool from before, this Rockwell, it's just called a mini drill. I bought it on sale from Minor 10. It's been absolutely brilliant actually. I don't know how you'd, uh, you'd do this job without it actually. Okay, so I've just got that off there. Came off okay. I'll just, uh, just change the end on that and we'll smooth that right out get a nice flat finish there so i've just stuck the template on there around there i've had to move it a few times just got to uh, just got to pay attention to those instructions but anyway that's in the correct place now all those holes so once i've cut that out then i'll actually tidy it all up properly i didn't see much point in grinding this off when it's going to come off anyway so we'll do that and then we'll we'll make it all nice and pretty so we'll just smooth that out and uh Get a nice flat surface to glue on. That's all right, it's coming along, cleaning up all right. A little bit more work. We'll get that all nice and clean. So everything's ready to go. I've drilled all the holes. I've just roughed it up with a bit of sandpaper around the edge to help that adhesive stick to it. Uh, like I said, that's what I've got. Just some heavy duty adhesive sealant sikaflex so we'll put that on there get that into position and then these go around on the pot rivets 
Got a few more there. I'm not going to be shy putting this stuff on. Uh, it's probably better to have too much than not enough at the moment. You can always wipe it off later. I'm going to get a good seal around there. We've got that on there like that. Now we're going to put our pop rivets in. All the way around. So, got that all done. That was a bit of a messy job. I've smeared a good amount of that adhesive sealant all over the place. I've even gone over the heads of the pot rivets just to make sure nothing's going to get in there and even on the inside. But uh, yeah, there's definitely nothing going to get in there. So that'll be sealed up nice. We'll just let that dry and we'll get that in. Okay, so our airbox is all dry. All that adhesive has set. And now we've just got to go in. Make sure you've got your hose clamp on there. Just sort of fit this in there. Just loosely fit that till we get the other couple into position. Then just a 7mm on this hose clamp. All done. So, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, that was just my experience uh, of the Safari RMAX snorkel install. Okay, thank you.